Are you struggling to get your external monitor to work with your USB-C dock? You're not alone. This is a common issue, and in this video, we'll walk you through the steps to troubleshoot and fix it. This guide is for anyone using a USB-C dock, especially those with Dell, Lenovo, or HP docks, who are experiencing issues with their external monitor not being detected. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of why this happens and how to resolve it, saving you time and frustration. You've got your sleek USB-C dock, your shiny new external monitor, and nothing. The screen stays black, and your computer acts like nothing's plugged in. It's incredibly frustrating, especially when you're trying to get work done. We understand how crucial a dual monitor setup is for productivity, and that's why we're here to help you get back up and running. First things first, the cable. Not all USB-C cables are created equal. Many people assume any USB-C cable will do. But for display output, you need a cable that supports DisplayPort Alternate Mode or Alt Mode. Without this, your cable simply can't transmit video signals. Check your cable's specifications or look for symbols indicating display support, like a Thunderbolt or DisplayPort logo next to the USB-C connector. Let's quickly demystify Alt Mode. Different USB-C versions support different display capabilities. For example, USB 3.1 Gen 1 typically supports one 4K display at 30 Hz, while USB 3.2 Gen 2 or Thunderbolt 3 quarters can handle multiple 4K displays at 60 Hz or even 8K. Ensure your dock, laptop, and cable all support the alt mode necessary for your desired display resolution and refresh rate. A mismatch here is a frequent culprit. Now, let's talk about power. A common myth is that if your dock isn't providing enough power, your monitor won't work. While power delivery is essential for charging your laptop and powering the dock's internal components, it rarely prevents a monitor from being detected if the alt mode is correct. If your laptop is charging, power delivery is likely sufficient. The key is stable power, so ensure your dock's power adapter is correctly plugged in and sufficient for the dock's needs, not just your laptop. Alright, if your cables and power seem fine, let's move to software. Sometimes, your operating system just needs a nudge to recognize the external display. This can happen after updates, driver issues, or simply a temporary glitch. We'll start with the simplest software fixes. For Windows users, resetting your display settings can often resolve the issue. First, try the keyboard shortcut, Windows key, plus P. This brings up the project menu. Cycle through the options like duplicate, extend, or second screen only to see if it refreshes the detection. If that doesn't work, you can try resetting display drivers without restarting your computer. Press Windows key plus Control plus Shift plus B. Your screen will flicker black for a second, and you'll hear a beep. This indicates your display drivers have been reset. It's a quick and often effective fix. Mac users, you're not left out. If your external monitor isn't detected, try resetting the PRAM or NVRAM. Power off your Mac, then power it on, and immediately press and hold Option plus Command plus P plus R. Keep holding these keys until your Mac restarts and you hear the startup chime a second time. This resets certain system settings, including display configurations. Alternatively, you can try changing the display resolution in System Preferences to force a redetection. Go to System Preferences Displays. Hold down the Option key while clicking Scale to reveal more resolution options. Then select a different resolution and revert back. For Linux users, especially those on Ubuntu or Fedora, backquote XRANDR backquote is your friend. Open a terminal and type backquote XRANDR backquote. This command shows you information about your display outputs. If your external monitor is listed but disconnected, you can try enabling it with a command like backquote XRANDR output less than output underscore name greater than auto backquote. Replacing backquote less than output underscore name greater than backquote with the name of your external display from the backquote XRANDR backquote output. You might also want to check your desktop environment's display settings, like GNOME's displays or KDE's system settings, for a detect displays button. If software resets don't do the trick, it's time to look at the hardware more closely. Sometimes, the simplest solutions are the most effective. We'll cover some basic hardware checks that often resolve the issue. First, try a different monitor if you have one available. This helps isolate whether the issue is with your original monitor or something else in the chain. If a different monitor works, your original monitor might be faulty. Second, and perhaps most important, try a different USB-C cable, even if your current one seems correct. Cables can go bad, 
or they might not fully support the features needed for your specific setup. Borrow one from a colleague, or pick up a certified alt mode capable cable for testing. Docks, like any piece of hardware, can benefit from firmware updates. Manufacturers frequently release updates that improve compatibility, stability, and fix bugs. Visit your dock manufacturer's website, Dell, Lenovo, HP, etc., and search for firmware updates for your specific dock model. Download and install any available updates following the manufacturer's instructions carefully. This can often resolve detection issues that are rooted in the dock's internal software. Troubleshooting a monitor not detected issue with a USB-C dock can seem daunting, but by breaking it down into manageable steps, it becomes much easier to identify and fix the problem. Remember, patience is key, and systematically going through these steps will usually lead you to a solution. To recap, always start with the right USB-C cable supporting alt mode. Understand the power delivery requirements for your dock. Then, move to software. Use the OS-specific display reset scripts. Finally, don't forget hardware checks. Try different monitors or cables, and update your dock's firmware. Following these steps will cover the vast majority of common issues. If, after all these steps, your external monitor still isn't detected, it might be time to contact your dock or laptop manufacturer. Or give Maddie at Asambe a try. An AI-first, IT support expert. We are sure she will have a reasonable response for your IT issues. Don't give up. Help is available. Hit that subscribe button below and join our community.